Hello and welcome to uh, Don Amot Leisure Kingdom on this sunny morning, makes a change. Um, and today we've got a 2020 Swift Escape for you to have a look at. This is the 664, it's a 2.3 130 brake horsepower manual engine. So let's have a little look around. Um, moving around to the passenger side, as you can see, as I mentioned, you've got the 2.3 multi jet 130 brake horsepower. Down this side, we've got your water fill point just unscrews and you can fill it up nice and easy or you do have the capability for a 12 volt um, if you want to be lazy or let it fill it up itself that's a great idea water drain offs at the bottom and your fridge vents just down there toilet cassette houses in here I'm sure we all know how they work but if you do want any information just give us a call let us know on the back you can see quite a few extras here so starting at the top we've got your dual reverse camera up there we have a two bike rack we have parking sensors, as you can just see all the way across, and we have a tow bar. So I don't really think there's much more you could get on the back of this one. Round to the passenger side. First of all, at the top, we've got your wind out awning, Fiamma awning up there. Down the bottom, storage locker, accessible from inside and out. Get all your chairs and tables, whatever you want in there. We have the vent for your Truma heating, so it's a blown air heating system on this one. Gas locker room for two gas bottles and further down the front we have your electrical hookup point just here and your diesel point just there so that's most of the features on the inside I'm gonna hand you over to my glamorous assistant Claire who's going to show you around the inside of the Swift Escape before right, here we go so let's go and have a look inside this super neat little TARDIS Tidy is an understatement when you get inside this motorhome. As we move to the front, you can see that it's on the Fiat six speed gearbox. This motor has done just over 3000 miles. It's got the reverse camera mirror here, which is excellent. Um, you've got the stereo. Um, you can connect your phone through it. It's got cruise control and it's got cab air conditioning. 12 volt charger and a USB and not forgetting somewhere to put your cups and the loose bits of change. I like the loose bits of change. Here we have a skylight. This skylight opens and you have a blind and a fly screen. This motor we can sleep four people and travel four people. As you can see we've got the seats in the captain's positions here. We've got two extra belted seats as well. A table will connect here so you can all sit socially and have a glass of wine and some nibbles when it's not dry January. <laughs> and we've got great storage. So as you look up here You'll see that we've got storage here. We've got the leisure battery. So this, as you know, this has got a solar panel. Quite a homemade shelf in there. So I'm sure we can see beyond that. Inside the cupboard here, again, we've got storage and we can move down to the kitchen. The kitchen is really well equipped. Nice work surface space. I like the fact that you can tuck the kettle out of the way. We've got two 12 volt charging points as well as two 240 charging points great cupboard here plate rack mug racks we've got the microwave a three ring gas burner combi oven and grill storage drawer and again pan storage not very big pans mind it's only a little bit of storage there inside here you've got your gas isolation taps so if ever you did need to isolate any of the main appliances this is your gas valve not that you should have to do that we've also got the draining board and a sink cover the sink cover will give you a little bit more space although i'd have to cut my onions on a chopping board not on the cover itself we've got the fridge now the fridge will work on gas and mains um, and if you set it to the battery position, it will maintain the temperature that it's at. It doesn't control the temperature. Great storage space. We've got the screens for the blinds here. The table extension. So if you were using it as a captain's area and dining more than just two of you, you may want to use um, the table extension. TV aerial. When you get on site, it's always handy to take the dog for a walk and work out which way everybody's aerial is pointing so you two can copy and get um, a nice picture on the screen. And this here is obviously the connection for the TV aerials. We have a 12 volt socket, sorry, a 12 volt, a 240 volt socket there. And we also have more storage beneath. 
a lovely comfy bed. It's a duvalet, duvalite mattress. And beneath here, we've got the main table. We've got the cushion infill to turn the front into seating. And we've got the heater here. So that's the brains for all the heating system. The heating system works on gas and mains. To make it most efficiently, you'd use it as a dual fuel. I'm going to send Wendy into the loo. <laughs> so we've got a lovely wet room wash room, which is really spacious. Great shower space. If we look up, we can see that it's got the Eco um, Camel shower, which is less, which is more water efficient. So you'll use less water. We've got the vanity mirror and the vanity sink. Cupboards within. This motor has also got removable carpets. So, if you want to come to Don Amot Leisure Kingdom, you want to come and see me. No, call me. No, me. <laughs> Not him. Um, and we will really be happy to help you. So you've got Adam and Claire here, but we have got a wonderful sales team as well. Make an appointment, make sure this motor's here and come along and see us.